Ildefonso Paez Santos. I am a landscape architect. When one thinks of landscape architecture in the Philippines, one thinks of the late great Ildefonso Paez Santos Jr. or I.P. Santos who pioneered the landscape architectural profession in the Philippines. He was born on September 5, 1929 in Malabon, Rizal and was the son of Filipino poet, one of the finest poets in Tagalog, Ildefonso Santos and Asuncion Paez. Santos is well known in professional circles for his uncompromising integrity and high degree of professionalism. He is more popularly known as the father of Philippine landscape architecture. He was instrumental in the establishment of the Specialty Board of Landscape Architecture at the Professional Regulation Commission of the Philippines, or the PRC. I.P. Santos attended the University of Santo Tomas, where he received Bachelor of Science degree in Architecture in 1954. Not content with this newly acquired degree, he aspired to enrich his architectural background by enrolling at the prestigious University of Southern California of Architecture, Los Angeles, California, where he obtained his second Bachelor of Architecture degree and his Industrial De Design degree in 1956, and later a Master of Architecture degree in 1960. While working for his architectural degrees at the University of Southern California, he joined the firm of Ralph D. Colonel in 1955 and went to work for Colonel Bringers and Troller when it became a partnership. He gained valuable experience during his nine years stint at the Landscape Architectural Office of Colonel Bringers and Troller. His last project with a well-known firm was the famous Los Angeles Music Center, which he designed before returning to the Philippines. He was appointed professorial lecturer in landscape architecture at the University of the Philippines in 1964 and continued to hold this position until his appointment as full professor in 1991. From October 1965 to September 1996, he was the landscape architectural consultant for the Office of the UP Campus Planning. His more than 40 years experience in a wide spectrum of landscape architectural projects acquired in the USA, Southeast Asia, and in the Philippines has earned numerous awards and citations. He was included in the 7th edition of Marquis Who's Who in the World and in the 11th edition of Men of Achievement. He earned awards such as Manila's Highest Culture Award for being a Patnubay ng Kalinangan, Plaka ng Karangalan, USC Stalaan Pandangal, and Outstanding Automation Award, Outstanding Professional for Landscape Architecture, Gawad ng Katangin Award, Parangal ng Bayan Award. And in 1998, he was awarded internationally by the British Association of Landscape Industries, National Landscape Awards for the project Taiku Shin. In 1990, the Art of Association of the Philippines awarded him a plaque of appreciation for his assistance and support in the continuing collective struggle for Philippine contemporary art. Ginoong Ildefonso Santos Jr. On June 9, 2006, he was awarded as National Artist of the Philippines for his outstanding achievement in architecture and allied arts by Malacanang. <laughs> The works of Ildefonso Santos were formed with the integration of various plants to turn the plain concrete path appearance into something vibrant, and that provides some sort of a relaxing ambience. What made his works distinct and aesthetically pleasing, however, are the materials used. Back then, landscapes were only composed of imported materials without taking into account what local plants are out there, waiting to be utilized to create a new style. In his designs, he maximizes space whilst preserving the natural beauty of a site. Instead of the generic and linear landscapes, he makes use of twisting walkways, grassy ridges, shaded outlooks, 
welcoming courtyards and vibrant plazas. It was the first to use plants such as the periwinkle, yellow bell, and jade vines on landscapes. A new addition that would later on inspire other architects to incorporate vivid plant tones to their design. Philippine architecture reflects the country's cultural heritage and need to adapt to the environment. The architecture of the Philippines reflects its history and tradition. Churches and mosques across the county as well as buildings in the metropolitan and rural areas have risen in response to the growing demands of the Filipinos. Landscape architecture is the art of designing spaces and land spot by incorporating natural elements into the design. Before Santos' works were recognized, the Filipinos' concept of landscape architecture was either ornamental gardening or grotto making. Through his lectures and seminars, Santos countered the image of a landscape architect as a glorified gardener. Among the locations that comprise I.P. Santos' body of work are the landscaping of Cultural Center of the Philippines. The Cultural Center of the Philippines or the Centrong Pangkultura ng Pilipinas is a government-owned and controlled corporation established to preserve, develop, and promote arts and culture in the Philippines. It provides performance and exhibition venues for various local and international productions and programs. The CCP was established through Executive Order No. 30, 1966 by President Ferdinand Marcos. It has a lot of significance in the Philippine art scene since its artistic programs include the production of performances, festivals, exhibitions, cultural research, outreach, preservation and publication of materials on Philippine art and culture. It holds its headquarters at the Tanghalang Pambansa, a structure designed by National Artists for Architecture, Leandro B. Laxin, and Landscape Architecture, Idelfonso Santos Jr. The Cultural Center comes up with creative and fun ways to promote culture and the arts among Filipinos. Since it was established on September 8, 1869, it has drawn the best Filipino artists and a number of world-famous international stars to grace its events and exhibits. Other works of architecture in Delfonso Santos are Bantayag ng Mga Bayani, Paco Park, Manila Hotel, San Miguel Corporation Building, Nayang Pilipino, Rizal Park, Loyola Memorial Park, and Magallanes Church. Santos has worked on varied projects ranging in scale from simple residences to complex development. These projects have one thing in common. They are the product of creative, imaginative, and functional designs marked by a rich background of experience and expertise and a high degree of excellence and professionalism.